Uh, I, I read an article that indicated it's, it, they're not allowing public comment at the meetings right. anymore. Is right. that correct or not? Yes. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. All right, so I'm waking my, I've made my way over to Winchester, New Hampshire Town Hall, kind of in violation of my us usual M.O. Uh, normally I avoid uh, covering governments in the town where I live. So since I live in Winchester, I normally don't cover Winchester. The idea is that there's already a federal government and a state government that I'm tangling with all the time. There's no point in adding another enemy to that already long list. But if they provoke me directly, that changes. And if we're in a period of time where activism is especially important, then it also changes. Any point in time when activism is being actively discouraged, and this is such a time. The concern here is that the Winchester government uh, came to my landlord, who had multiple mailboxes, and told them that they weren't allowed to do that. They had to get it down to one mailbox or else face, you know, some sort of fine or something. And, uh, or, or extra bills or whatnot. And about a month later, a different government, the federal government, came in and said, oh no, you're not allowed to have just one mailbox. You must have multiple mailboxes. Right after they had dismantled their multiple mailboxes in compliance with town orders, and right in the middle of a plague, supposedly, where we're being encouraged to shop by mail instead of in stores. Strongly encouraged. So anyway, I have uh, dropped by Town Hall because there is going to be a meeting here and they are to their credit, well, credit or not, they're meeting in person, but they, they, I think they, last I checked, there may be a ban on public comment. They may be just live streaming the thing but not letting you go in. That's my understanding, but I'll ask and find out more about that as well as other concerns I have uh, uh, racked up over the last month or two. Do you work for the town? Sure. Pardon? I do. Yes, a uh, question for you. Is it true that the public public comment is being banned at these meetings? Uh, it's not being banned. They're only letting in a certain amount of people. Okay, so a person could come in and speak, but they just have to, one at a time? You have to check with the administrator. Uh, are you, uh, what is your position, if I might ask? Well, whatever the position, that's the truck you drove in on. How are we doing? Hi, do you work for the town? Yep. Question for you. Sure. What's the status of public comment at the meetings right now? The status of public comment? Yeah, I, I read an article that indicated it's, it, they're not allowing public comment at the meetings right. anymore. Is right. that correct or not? Yes. So no public comment? No, one of the governor's executive orders changed the... Uh, the to, I think it's RSA 91 or uh -huh. 71, one of those, um, oh, okay. regarding public comment at meetings and public meetings. Now public comment would still be allowed uh, over the internet or over a phone line, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, we've requested anybody that has any comments or questions either call or email the town hall and the, the, their questions will be addressed. Do those questions wind up appearing on the broadcast, though? Because you are broadcasting the meetings, right? Not all of them, no. I see. Okay, uh, now the no. Board of Selectmen meetings, are those being broadcast? Not right now, no. So these are occurring in secret to some extent? No, the public's still welcome to come. Okay. The public, public attendance is welcome. We're trying to stay within the governor's order of the tent. Um, but the public is still welcome to come. There's just no public comment. Okay, I appreciate your transparency and your answers. Now, uh, what's your position, if I might ask? I'm the chairman of the select board. Okay, and your name? Ben Kalansky. Okay, Mr. Kalansky, I appreciate your time. Yeah, what's this for? It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. It's like a oh. poor man's TV station. Yep. I normally don't cover Winchester, but I live here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Can't get as far as I used to. Yeah, no, no problem. All right, thanks much. Yeah, thank you. All right, Dicker. Two thousand Liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. 
But there's a saying, my saying, actually. United we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com